I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out the game. Thomas, Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Alright, bitch, 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 I'm about my cheese, but I wanna be hot, kill Chucky. You think your bitch clean, ain't got no bag, so she still ugly. Got her out the mud with my thugs, working real ugly. My old bitch got a nigga, won't stop calling. That bitch still love me. 24 out to agree to the. No, 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 no. Don't run and don't say you ain't ready and don't say you no, no, because we were already locked in last year. That means you should be ready already. So you got 24 hours. I already talked to Beasley. I already talked to Smack. And they said, if Rum Nitty is with it, y'all can do it. And we can let it go as a summer madness one off. You got 24 hours to agree to this battle. And we can battle tomorrow. Because my rounds are already done. So we can battle tomorrow. And then not only can we battle tomorrow, we're going to up the stakes. My I am taking battle rap to motherfucking God mode settings. I want to battle for careers. No, 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 no. Once again, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Kayshawn. Battle for your career. Your Instagram, your social media, and everything. Battle for your career. After this, you can't battle no more. And you get to pick all five judges. You can go pick your mom. You can go pick your auntie. You can pick one of the six kids you got. You can pick your grandma. You can pick who. You can pick your homies. You can pick your. You can pick all five judges personally, direct relatives to you. You can. Oh boy! Oh boy! Grab a seat because we need to speak. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Okay, okay, G's up, G's up. Let me roll my sleeves up. Bruh, daylight is wilding right now. Like, if you watch the video on Spawn Only Daylight's YouTube channel, he starts going in. Uh, Rum Nitty had an interview on 15 Minutes of Fame. Salute to them and everything that they do. He was basically insinuating the fact that daylight's ducking him. Daylight came out and laid down the law as far as with everything going on. With him versus Rum Nitty, gave him 24 hours. He named a couple instances where this battle was supposed to happen. And guess what? I got notes because it was a lot going on. And I wanted to catch it all so I could bring it how I bring it and sing it how I sing it. So, Daylight has uh, elevated the battle rap game. He said that pretty much ever since his battle with Tay Rock, which is uh, one of the most reacted to battles, he said it picked up 400,000 reactions and dropped last after bootlegs and all of this stuff. Um, said that they were supposed to battle on RBE, but RBE allegedly, allegedly wanted to offer them 10% of the pay-per-view and Daylight said, hell no, told them, fuck no, we're not battling for 10% of no pay-per-view. I don't battle for chicken nuggets. I don't battle for Whopper Juniors. I don't want 10% of a card that they would potentially sell. Now, like I said, I don't know if this is trolling or if this is fact, but this is what he said. He said they were supposed to battle on traffic, but traffic didn't go down because of COVID and all of that stuff. Um, I got a couple clips from Daylight. I'll pull him, put him in here. And he said that uh, when he came back to URL, he wanted three battles. Rum Nitty on the Roof, Rock on Gnome, Twerk on Some Madness. He said that uh, a lot of the battle rappers have been doing the same moves for the last 10 years. This is what we've been talking about. Uh. He said, they do all of this, the gun's so big, I be clicking with the thing. I can't even travel with it, I gotta get it, a seat on the plane, all this other stupid shit that these niggas be doing when they be rapping nowadays. He addressed that. Uh, he said that a lot of these battle rappers cannot elevate the culture because they do the same moves, same in and out, hezzy, cross, step back. Now, you know niggas be doing a step back all the time. He said they do the same moves all the time, which is the reason why the game does not elevate. He said that uh, he talked about his 400,000 reactions on the app in a couple days. He said, y'all can't do what I did. Uh, he said, his rounds for Rum Nitty are done. Actually offering to battle him tomorrow. He said, if we was scheduled to battle a couple times, then you should be ready to battle me tomorrow. And he kept going. He said, 24 hours to meet me on the rooftop. 
We can battle tomorrow. Rum Nitty, I know you're not going to let this man. Go find that man. Go, go, go find him. Do not come back until you find that man. He talked about you battling drugs and battling LL Cool G. He called him LL Cool J, Ron Cool G. He said, you shouldn't even be battling these type of niggas. He said, you should not, if you want to be GOAT or want to be in that status, you should not even be battling these type of niggas. And that's what a lot of people were saying. You should not even be doing that. But I respected the fact that you did. Um, he basically said that... Uh, you could pick all five of the judges, and we could. He said we could drive to Arizona, or we could fly you to us. Now daylight is talking heavy, and this is the same. And he wants to battle you for your career, my nigga. Not for a battle. Not for some views. This nigga wants to battle you for your career, like to hang it up, like the whole career. If you lose the battle to him, he wants your Instagram, Twitter, social media. This nigga wants to battle you for your career. Now. We all know Daylight has been known to troll and things like that in the past, but he sounded pretty serious here. He's talking about, he said, give me your PayPal, we can pay you the money that you want. Like, when somebody says that their rounds are done, like, my rounds are done, regardless of the fact. You know, he was saying that um, the problem with Rum Nitty, the reason why he has to battle is because he has to battle so much and against random people is because he doesn't have a brand that he's, re he's making pop. He's only worried about bars. But he doesn't have merchandise, he doesn't have a YouTube channel, and then he mentioned that the bloggers are making more money than the battle rappers. I didn't want to say that, but you know, he said it. And it's been known, a lot of these battle rappers, they get paid in chicken nuggets. You know, a lot, some of these battle rappers battle for free. Showtime SP don't even blog with me for free. But, you know, it is what it is. It's the position that a lot of these guys put themselves in. And you know, they say, know your worth, and whatever you get paid is what you're worth. If you don't get paid much, then you're not worth much. You need to step your worth up and make people pay you according to what you're worth. But the way my business works is that the revenue comes in, revenue comes in. And a lot of battle rappers don't have merchandise. I don't understand that. I got clothes and I'm a blogger and battle rappers don't have clothes. They not selling merch. They are not doing anything with their career, just rapping. So he's basically saying, look nigga, I want to battle tomorrow. Not today, but tomorrow. So basically, Daylight is saying he wants to battle you for your career, my nigga. Like, no, no more battles, no more nothing. Like, no chicken wings, no champagne, no nothing. I think this is a very interesting concept. And I think this battle should and probably will go down. Um, Daylight just pretty much just got into everything saying that Rum Nitty is basically taking battles instead of him that he shouldn't be taking. Like these guys that he's battling are subsidiary talent. Um, and while some of the battles was a little interesting, you expect Rum Nitty to win. Like, do we expect Rum Nitty to go out and lose to drugs or lose to LL Cool G? Like, you don't expect that. I'm just, I'm just saying. A talent of his level is not expected to lose these battles. If he did get beat bad in these battles, and one is a one rounder, so I mean, who really judges one rounders? But if he lost bad to drugs we'd be having a totally different conversation right now what oh my goodness nigga it'd be it'd be lit but i will say this daylight controls his narrative he has his own youtube channel he has a bunch of subscribers he controls the base people will watch what he says it's to a point now where you can go to his channel grab certain clips to back up what he says and you build content off of what other what he's talking about because he's setting his own narrative. He can get his own battles book through promoting. And the thing is, any one of these artists have the platform and the power. The artists are bigger than the bloggers. Like, ain't no blogger bigger than no damn battler. Not no top tier big name battler. They could do. They could control their own narrative, but a lot of them don't choose to do so. The editing takes too much time or filming or buying a camera or buying lights and all this other shit. I get it. But to control your own narrative and be able, I mean, come on. Imagine if Daylight did this blog that Rum Nitty popped out with one today, rebuttaling his shit. Yeah, nigga, I'll meet you on the roof tomorrow. Where we gonna do it at? Even if they wasn't gonna do it. Daylight could be potentially trolling, saying that he got his bars ready. But it sound good. Don't it sound good? It sounds really good that he's saying that he's ready to do it tomorrow. Even if he's just body bluffing and ain't got nothing. 
He it just it sounds good. And if Rum Nitty doesn't respond, he's not one to go back and forth with people anyway. It makes it seem like the narrative that they like pushing is true. You know, it makes it seem like nigga, yo, you don't want you really don't want this smoke. You asking for it, but you don't want it. Do I think Rum Nitty will be able to ready to battle tomorrow? No. No. He just battled twice the day before yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that that's the case, but it definitely gives Daylight a lane and shit to talk about. You know what I mean? He talked about a lot. The blog is like over a half an hour long. I'm mostly through it, but um, you know, he was reiterating pretty much a lot of the same topics. I'll battle you tomorrow. We could battle on the roof. I want to battle you for your career. Saying that they were supposed to battle on RBE, but they was only offered 10% of the pay-per-view. I don't know how much truth there is to that because I don't want to get into the specifics and analytics of what they had going on if that was a deal. Because Rumnity's never even battled on RBE. So that would be a whole totally different situation altogether when it comes to him and Ultimate Rap League and things like that. So, with that being said, what y'all think? Y'all think Daylight ready to battle tomorrow? Or is this nigga just, or is he just bluffing? Um, Another topic I wanted to talk about, I was actually going to make a full blog about this, but I just throw it in here. Fuck it, you just get some extra cheese on it. Um, Battle Rap has now went to Hall of Fame settings. You hear Daylight talking about Hall of Fame settings and Hall of Fame guy. This is something that I spoke about. I was the one, I tweeted about this yesterday. Me and Daylight actually talked about it. He hit me on in it, on the Twitter joint. Um, the, the level has been upped without no crowd, without no host, without no fans. Without nothing, just you and another MC, everybody's not going to make it like that. Everybody cannot do that. That's a totally different style of battling. Just you and somebody else battling with no crowd reaction. Like, it takes away everything that you're used to and strips it down to the rawest form. A lot of people, those performance-based MCs are not excelling during this shit. It's, and it's going to be a while before it comes back. It won't be back to regular for a long ass time. Do you think that they're going to put a thousand people in a room in 2020? I highly doubt it. There will not be a thousand people in any room this year. Unless there's a cure. Unless there's a viable cure for COVID and nobody's walking around with masks on anymore. And we don't see that happening anytime soon. Like, they're, they're, it's just... Unless they pop up tomorrow, like, bam, cure is here, we back outside. But if that's not the case, which doesn't seem like, battle rap with me in small rooms. And people like Chilla Jones, people like Daylight, the A-Verbs of the world, the Danny Myers, uh, the JCs, he can still do it at this level, uh, the Avs, those dudes that have pens and got bars, they're going to be the ones to excel. A lot of the performance-based MCs you see are struggling in this environment. Shook just came into an environment like this. I know this was his first time in there. It was hard for him, you know what I'm saying? A lot of other MCs that are performance-based, they're not having good run runs in there. Now, now Rock had a good had a good battle inside of that room. Uh, a lot of people feel like he lost, and you know, to me, I had their like winning, but he had one of his best performances in that. He's able to adapt and adjust. A lot of these MCs, they would just stick into the same shit. And if you're not able to, it's like, NBA in the playoffs, when the game becomes a half-court game, you have to adjust your game a little bit. It's just not all fast break, running and gunning. Who's going to adjust? Our MC's going to adjust. b dot will be great in one of those rooms because he's very lyrical. The pen is there, you know? But some of these guys, they're just not going to be able to handle it, and it's just going to be what it is. Bill Collector is a, is a, is a performance-based MC, but he's been able to rap, you know? He was, he was able to rap more 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 bars he had more punches and shit versus uh yk now it all depends on who it is what the battle is how it's set up chilla jones is gonna run through these though like uh, chilla jones stay away from daylight stay away from they're gonna they're gonna be the mvps of a lot of these rooms the emerson kennedy's are gonna do good in a lot of these rooms too danny myers is gonna continue to do good too a lot of these guys they they built their performances are built like that but y'all let me know you ain't know what to do and what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. 24 hours, Nitty. 24 hours. Huh? Let's get it. Okay, Mr. Rum Nitty. The punchline god. The big deuce. The mafia ania. Okay, Mr. Gunbar King. Uh. Since you feel that you really ready. And you think that I, me, Daylight, 
is running. I'm going to give you a proposition. I'm going to give you an actual proposition right now. Since we was already locked in last year, that means your material should be done, right? Because mine's done. All three rounds of mine's already done. So if you if we were locked in for last year, that means your material should be done. So if you if if that is the case, you have 24 hours to meet me at the rooftop or meet me somewhere in LA. Avocado will film it and we can do a summer madness one-off. 24 hours. You got 24 hours to agree to the battle. 24 hours to agree to the no, 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 no. Don't run and don't say you ain't ready and don't say you, no, no, because we were already locked in last year. That means you should be ready already. So All right. Bitch, 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 I'm about my cheese, but I want to be hot, kill Chucky. You think your bitch clean, ain't got no bag, so she's still ugly. Got her out the mud with my thugs, working real ugly. My old bitch got a nigga, won't stop calling. That bitch still love me. New bitch way bad, she act dad. She'll kill for me. Fresh up off the yard, dick in her stomach. Do it feel lovely? Bitch, you say you real, will suck this dick and sell these pills for me. Motor for the free, but pay the fee. It could get real ugly. Can't do shit for free, need compensation for my conversation. Heard the suckers hating, tell them stop it. That's abomination. Creep down your block with bases, dress mad. So they think I'm Haitian, ain't no hesitation I see a sucker, but I got a banker Niggas know for faking, I'm known for taking shots without me thinking Oops, I made me thinking, my bitch crazy Always think I'm creeping, oops, I made me creeping This blood gang, I bang it every season Fuck what's niggas thinking, tryna count me out while I'm still breathing Niggas know who my team is, this bitch crazy Or she eat and see me, they say I'm a demon I stand tall like the Pledge of Allegiance Leave a niggas thinking, brain hanging out, you see what he thinking Just give me a reason, I'ma show you all my niggas tweet. Oh, I heard